In this lesson, I'd like to show up the possibilities of image calculation in the Ray Trace Studio. Again, there are three modes that we can use. We are currently in construction mode. We use the static wireframe presentation. In order now to switch to the studio, there are various possibilities. The quickest way is to hold down the right mouse button and select the icon on the top left. And I am already in the studio display mode with the advanced studio presentation. Via render, I can extend my number of tools by use of the studio task. Here I have the opportunity to make the preview and various other adjustments. In order now to display my model in ray tracing studio environment, we have to enable the studio as an additional client. But before I do so, I will define a material. I open the material library, system, studio materials, and take a metal. I want something reflective, that's why I'm going to be taking chrome. If it should not reflect, then you can take aluminium instead. The aluminium has a matte layer that diffusely reflects and does not reflect as much as chrome. This allows you to compare different settings. I'd like to select only one surface instead of the entire body and choose aluminium here. You can see at this kind of preview improved render, it doesn't matter what we adjust here. We have only a light gray and a medium light gray because the image based lightning is not yet set. We still see no preview of the reflection. I will now open the Ray Trace Studio. Let's first of all take a look at the fast interactive mode. The surfaces that have the reflective material, chrome, are displayed in black. Only the surface with aluminium is shown because it has a diffusely reflecting or kind of matte material. With the fast interactive mode, no reflections are displayed. We have to set the mode at least to quality interactive so that also reflective surfaces can be simulated. There is still the mode photo real that we can use. And you notice it makes almost no difference at all. This photoreal mode is noticeable when we render transparent materials. Only with the photoreal mode, transparency and hard shadows become possibly displayed. If you do not have transparent materials, then you will probably get along well with the quality interactive mode. But of course we have an advantage by using this mode when a static image is going to be created. The difference to the static image is that we can still rotate the dynamic image and watch the rendering in real time. Of course the computing capacity will be probably utilized. It's worth it, therefore, to use a cloud-based remote rendering instead. The calculation of the image does not take place on your own computer, but on a server instead. This also reduces the fan noise. Incidentally, the static image can do a little bit more than this photoreal preview, especially when you think about the image size. The static image can also create caustic, for example. Caustic is meaning the refraction of light on a transparent material, where the white color of the light is divided into its spectral colors, the rainbow colors. 